Welcome to the Potter Blog site, May 22nd, 2013. Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus outbreak uh, near Fort Rucker, Alabama. At least two dead and a cluster of people hospitalized near Fort Rucker, Alabama. Uh, we suspect this is an outbreak of the SARS-like MERS CoV flu. Uh, the obvious source vector of such an outbreak in Lower Alabama is from soldiers deployed to the Middle East out of Fort Rucker, Alabama. Uh, we base our analysis on the following. Let me zoom in on this here real quick. Uh, one, the uh, index patient's illness date of approximately April 19th, 2013. Uh, apparently that individual has died recently. Uh, the patient's extreme proximity to Fort Rucker and uh, Enterprise, Alabama is, is where it's reported, but we believe it's Fort Rucker. Uh, Fort Rucker's Middle East deployments. Uh, Fort Rucker is the home of the Army Aviation Training Center. Uh, they deployed a lot and have returned deployments from the Middle East recently. Uh, the symptoms of the disease, although they are careful not to mention what all the symptoms are, and there's probably a good reason for that, they don't want to scare people. And finally, the epidemiological presentation. Uh, given the time, April 19th to now, only a small cluster of people hospitalized, but a significant portion of them dead. Uh, and what we know of the, uh, this Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, it's likely a large outbreak down there with uh, uh, cold type symptoms going around but only a, a small number of people come down with uh, uh, with a significant level requiring hospitalization so our uh, risk mitigation position on this let me zoom back out our risk mitigation position this on this at least our initial one is that the risk is low but the impact is high and meaning that uh, if you're down there in Alabama you know odds are that any individual is not going to be hospitalized even if they catch it but if you do catch it and you do have to become hospitalized it doesn't look good for you then uh, so it's sort of like roulette it's you know low probability but high impact and uh, in that regard uh, we suggest low-cost uh, mitigation efforts. Uh, we've mentioned this before in other videos. Uh, we keep mentioning this because it's something not a lot of people know about, and it's something that can give you an edge, and that is uh, chlorhexidine gluconate. It's a surgical scrub that uh, you wash your hands with it, and it keeps killing multiple germs and bugs, including uh, SARS, MERS-CoV, and H7N9 bird flu. It kills them, uh, kills these things for six hours after you wash with it. So it, not only is it like a glove, it's like a glove that kills deadly bacteria. And so we have a link here to uh, uh, stuff we've purchased on Amazon. Amazon does seem to be the cheapest, best place to get it. But again, we think this is low risk, but uh, the potential impact is high. So yeah, you have to be careful.